Uh, a lot of my viewers ask about cleaning coins. It's like one don't, of my most don't, asked questions. Don't, that's what don't. I, that's what yeah. I always recommend. Uh, so I tell people the only reason to clean a coin is if what's on the surface of the coin is worse than what the cleaning is going to do to the coin. There are ways of conserving coins and doing it correctly, but even the professionals get it wrong sometimes. So as an amateur, most people have a tendency to screw up their coins. So, so just don't. See a professional, let them give you some advice. If it's a really good coin, send it to PCGS or NGC and use their conservation service. I've used their services numerous times. Yes, it's a little expensive, but most of the time they do a good job. They've, they've buggered a couple up that I've sent in and I've been very unhappy with the result, but that's kind of the chance you take. Right, right. So can you talk about like how that like devalues your coin tremendously, especially like a, you know, a key date or a rare Sure, coin. well, think about an antique car or an antique piece of furniture. The original paint, even though it's not perfect, is better than a, a perfect new paint job or stripping your 1780 high boy and putting a new finish on it, and that's reduces the value. Same way with coins. So you're stripping off part of the surface of the coin and you're making it, in most cases, look unnatural. Mm -hmm. So if you have a low grade coin that looks like a proof, everybody knows it's been clean. There's, right. there's different levels of cleaning and different levels of destruction that you're going to bring about on your coin. So as an amateur at home, I would tell everybody just don't. Okay. The, the only thing is if, if you've got a coin with PVC on it from one of the old um, Coin Master albums mm -hmm. and, and it's green and it's sticky, you can use and now get pure fingernail polish remover, pure acetone, or go to the uh, hardware store and get pure acetone in the paint department and use a um, cotton ball and very lightly and then rinse it off because acetone will not do anything to the surface of the coin. It won't do anything to the toning that's on the coin. It'll just lift off surface contaminants. So if you're hell bent on doing something, that yeah. should be as far as you go. You know, going anything beyond that is going to cause destruction to the coin. What would you say for metal detectors when you get a coin with a big glop of, uh, you know, <laughs> dirt on there, they just usually spray it with water, is that what you would Sure. Recommend? I mean, you know, water is a, a non-corrosive substance, but if you use water in a brush, right? okay, so think about it for a second. The grit that gets into the brush acts like sandpaper, and it'll actually scratch the surface of the coin. Now, most coins that come out of the ground are already corroded beyond collectability. Sure. So, generally, you're not going to do tremendous harm to those but still, it's always best to seek a professional's advice. And don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.